hello community i hope you are doing good in this discussion we will see how to create html field and in case you missed previous discussion about how to create a text field please check link is given in the description and if you want to learn more about odoo please visit the weblands channel under the home screen you can see here odoo 17 development tutorial and this is the main playlist of the odoo 17 development right and those are the sub playlist of the specific topic wise and in case you want to learn more about the different topics for the specific topic wise please check this odoo development which is having a odoo 14 15 and 16 combination videos with the different topic wise you can see here and guys if you didn't subscribe this channel please subscribe it will motivate me and it will help me a lot so let's back to our main topic like how to create a html field in the student profile so previous session we already know how to create this text field right now in this session i'm going to show you how to create a html field right so for that and one more thing is I'm, i will show you one more di main difference between text field and the html field all right so here let's say address html right this is the field name we can use here after that we have to use here fields dot html that's it and let's say address html okay you can see fields we have to import from the odoo fields right so fields package right it will help to create a specific fields for this model all right so there are a lot of fields available we already discussed few of them and uh, in upcoming sessions you can also understand all the fields right so here you can see here like how to create a html field right we can just use here h as a capital tml is a small right and after that in the views right in the specifically the view part i'm trying to create here a new group and i will add here let's say that field name and that's it after that you must have to upgrade the module right here let me refresh the screen and now you can see the html field you can see here it's look like a text field you see this is the text field right so same you can also see here the main difference here is if you double click here you can see the html tags automatically display here if you want to bold this how right underscore then after let's say not the but let's say the header tag right like this actually you can also add here the link also right Web, website info let's say insert now it's a clickable right and once i will save now you can see the clear difference right why it's called as a html you see this is the simple one and once i double click here i'm not able to see here that html related tags and once i click here or let's say the select here like this so automatically you can see here this html tax box is available here and one more thing is the ai right let's say once you click here you can see here automatically sharing here that specific it will generate the specific keywords related data so hey so insert instead of the high it's replaced with this one so is it interesting right i guess yes so yeah this is the main difference between text field and the html field now the thing is let's say you want to also know the backend stuff right how you can see the data in the backend side the backend code of this hey the board and all the underscore and all right this anchor tag and everything so for that by default it's not visible 
you cannot see that pure context right so in case you want to display that option too then we have to use the options so here we have to use here options right in the dictionary in the single quote we have to use here key and value pair send boxed preview and here we have to use value as a true and after that like we have to upgrade the module right and refresh the screen and you can see here this icon right and once you click here you can see the back end side what data it stores you can see here clearly plus another thing is once you click here it will again showing you the normal mode now once you double click here you can't able to see that html tag right you can see like this and again one more thing one more thing is once you click here it will redirect to like this page all right now let's talk about the normal attributes the supported attributes for this html so here let's say the you want to change the label right you want to add also the label so for the label you can use here string equal to and you can use like this right and here let's say you can just upgrade the module and once you refresh the screen you can see this is the label right and now it's display like this you see right the label also change another thing is required required equal to one by default it's a false but some cases let's say user want to user input must required so in this case right i'm trying to save the record and you can see here the address html field is required right because it's none right now at, at the moment I'm using like this and now you can see the effect now this is all about the required right now I will show you one more is the default so let's say while any user create a new record right so what would be the default values so for that we can just use this default attribute so this is default value from backend all right h1 tag and let's say each one tag like this i will restart the service no need to upgrade the module okay once i will refresh the screen here i'm giving you one small not this default keyword is not for the existing records it's always for the new records now you can see this is so this default value would be display so this is the main thing here okay another thing is the index so here i will not suggest you to add index for the html field right index is to boost your search queries so this is specifically for the sql index stuff so here you can use index equal to true like that okay so it will automatically create a new index in the sql table now another thing is the help so help is specifically for the tooltip right so this field this field is used for the dynamic html code to render into the student profile right and once you restart the service here you can see there is no question mark is here right like this here so once i refresh the screen you can see the question mark is here and once you hover there you can see that default value should be display right so it uses as a tooltip using the help okay now another thing is the read only 
equal to 1. By default, it's a false, I mean the 0. Okay. And you just need to restart the service. And once you refresh the screen, right, now this field is no more editable. That is the purpose of this read only attribute. Another thing is copy. So let's say by default it's a true. Okay. Uh, before I will restart the service, let me show you one example. So let's say uh, this record I want to duplicate right here. You can see this new record is generated the ddd1 right whatsoever fields value available here right it will duplicate the new record it will like create a new record along with the existing fields value right in some cases let's say you don't want to copy from the existing field uh, existing value right in this case you can use copy equal to false that's it and after that you can just restart the service right and again you duplicate here you can see it will use here the default values not the older one right this one and in case there is a one more question raised right let's say what about if the default value is not there then what happen is default value is not there then it it's checking if it is a required then it will prevent to the record to create a record in case the required is also not there uh, it will automatically set as a null value so let's check two possibilities here let's say here i will click here like this so you can see here create update mandatory field is not set right why because we set here this record equal to one let me comment that out and restart the service right let me refresh the screen and let me duplicate now you can see so it's set as a null value inside this field right so this is the main purpose of this copy equal to false by default it's a true so it's allowing to duplicate the value to the specific field right there is a one more attribute is the groups here in case you already know about the security access rights right over there we are trying to create uh, rules and the groups for the specific users right this person can edit this person can read and create the record like that so we usually we are trying to create a uh, groups so those groups you can add here like group one after comma group two comma group three but right now I will not show you this part because this is little bit complicated for you. So just focus on the default attributes like this. All right. Now, uh, let's say there is a one more case is there. Some users, I don't know, like let's say you have a uh, 1000 users using the Odoo, right? And some users randomly change the DDD one to two and save, right? you need some records here like who changed this field so for that you can just use tracking right and this attribute is useful but right now i mean i will also not showing this demo i will cover in a specific topic okay uh, specific for the logger related topic now you already aware about the python side right now let's talk about the same attributes we can also use in the XML side. All right. So you already aware about the options, right? Forget about the options at the moment. Just use there is a one attribute is also there options, right? I will cover in deep this session in our upcoming session. After that, like, like let's say you can also override the Python side string label right like override html label and here in this case we must have to upgrade the module because we are changing in the html side now refresh the screen and now you can see it's changed right you can see here it's a read only right 
here I will try to remove the read only equal to zero and I will upgrade the module I will refresh the screen and now you can see it's editable right like this one more thing is the required required equal to one we must have to upgrade the module so basically you can say the simple terms whatsoever attribute we are using here you can also using almost attributes here so what is the first priority right so here the first priority is for the xml side let's say in the python side whatsoever you are using right attributes you want to override then you can simply use here those attributes with the same values okay and now you can see uh, let's say i'm trying to save right you can see this address html field this field is required and another option is the placeholder so once i will upgrade the module right refresh the screen and this class holder works with both existing records and the new record so here you can see at the moment you can see the class holder is not display why because we are using this optional so let me comment it out right and simple i will upgrade the module so it will again comes to the normal html field okay so once i will refresh the screen you can see the in the text field you can see here the default message for the user right you can directly switch to like this so this is very useful right so like this way you can add here the plus holder and yes one more interesting attribute is no level equal to one and upgrade the module let's say you want to hide this level right only the field would be display so in this case you can use no level and once you refresh the screen you can see it's display something like this without level right so yeah so this is the default html field i hope you understood how to create html field what is the different supported attributes in the python side as well as in the xml side if you have any doubt related to this topic please comment below and see you in our next session and our next session would be how to create a boolean field so see you there